So, um, and then I'll go into what Hindu. Hinduism people are believed to die and be reborn with a new identity. Now, I have done videos about the whole idea of the process of moksha and so forth in Hinduism, and I'll be resharing them and also re um, loading them soon in with another two weeks. So um, you may actually see them probably this week or next week. Um, Buddhism, in Chinese Buddhism, it said that dying patients will experience phases between the state of torment and the state of exhalation. Um, and that caretaker must help the dying patient remain in the state of exhalation through neophro prayers. In some parts of Buddhism, the dead and living exist together with the former having power and influence over the lives of the latter. So Buddhism really is always taken from Hinduism, slightly altered. So people have different ways of end of life care, how they should do that. And and then we have different stage models, how people see the five stages of grief, which I'm going to explain in the grief uh, video. And these things are all influencing within culture. So the way we look at death is actually completely aware of our culture, what we do. 